Welcome back to the Diamond Breakfast. It is now 7.05 and we'll be delving into the conversation with Mr. Trevor Mumba and Chisenga Jane. And we're talking about announcing the inaugural Shift Mindsets on Corruption Conference, a three-day experience that brings together the best Zambian minds and 50 young people from all provinces to evolve and shift their mindsets on the responsibility or on their responsibility on fighting corruption and acquire an innovative mentality. So I am now joined by Trevor Mumba, as I mentioned, founder and managing director of Rovert Marketing and Chisenga Jane, who is the president of the Debate Society. Thank you very much for joining me this morning. Thank Good morning. You. Thank morning. you for having us. Thank you. All right. So this, this conference, I think we did discuss it once before on the Diamond Breakfast, but I'm, I'm quite keen to get to know more about it. So I'm going to ask if you could just give us some brief highlights about the conference from both candidates. Okay, mm -hmm. sure. So um, it is really a great conference and workshop to say mm -hmm. because it has a theme which says shift in mindsets on corruption for the youth of Zambia. Mm -hmm. And we have five youths from each of the 10 provinces of Zambia who, okay. who, who makes a total of 50 great minds and of course 50 very passionate youths who want to fight corruption. Well, this event is also organized by the um, Zambians promoting leadership in America, mm -hmm. also along with the Anti-Corruption Commission of Zambia, the Drug Enforcement Commission, and of course, not forgetting Transparency International, just to mention but a few. So these really felt the needs. They saw the need of involving young minds, the youths themselves, mm -hmm. in fighting against corruption. So it is a great workshop to be at. Fantastic. Mr. Mumba, what are yeah, some of so, your highlights? So like Jen said, mm -hmm. I think the, the biggest aspect of it is just the focus on shifting mindsets. Because mm -hmm. the terms corruption or bribery and, and all these words are, are very familiar and these are things we've been talking about since forever but what do they mean to you as mm -hmm. an individual and which role what role can you play in it okay and when we start to talk about fighting corruption in Zambia you find that the youth have been complaining mm -hmm. but it's like for the most part they 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 felt powerless because they actually don't know where to fit in you get it, right? But also, fighting things like this has a lot to do with your perspectives on it. Um, before this conference started, I would randomly ask young people in Zambia what they knew about the Drug Enforcement Commission mm -hmm. or the Anti-Corruption Commission. And to a lot of them, it's like, these organizations just go after, they just go after corrupt politicians. But mm -hmm. corruption is beyond politics, you know? So it's like, we got to a point where we would would look at these two organizations or the FIC as organizations that were set up to just witch hunt mm -hmm. for corrupt politicians. But like Madame Merichura said yesterday, for example, the DC don't go after people, they go after transactions. Yes. So if all of a sudden you've got so much money in your account and nobody knows where it came from, at least just tell us where it came from. Because mm -hmm. what if you're a criminal? What if you're into cyber crimes? What if you took a bribe? from somebody, if it's straightforward money that you made the right way, you should explain it, mm -hmm. you know. So these are the things that we are trying to help people understand. But also, the majority of our population is young people. So yes. if you don't involve young people in these conversations, then you might as well not have them, mm -hmm. you know, because in the next 10, 15 years, who are people that will be holding these same offices that we are complaining about where the corruption is coming from? It's young people. So if we can start having these conversations now, we are building the right mindset over time because these things don't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. We are where we are right now as a country because things have been deteriorating for decades. So if we are looking at a better future, we might as well start having these conversations now and getting the people that will be driving this country forward in these conversations. Mm -hmm. and, and that's basically what we are here for. Most definitely. Uh, Chisenga, I'm going to throw this at you. What, what is the outcome you're expecting out of this conference? Because I know that you did say there's a lot of youth who are involved here. But then as a youth yourself, what is the main thing that you're expecting to come out of this? What do you want to see from your peers? Okay, so I expect this to be a very participative um, workshop. Of course, participation from the youth themselves. Mm -hmm. I believe we are the majority of our population, and we actually are the ones that are affected mm -hmm. even more 
by the corruption that we face in our country. Mm -hmm. So I'm expecting to be equipped with the very much needed knowledge on corruption itself. Mm -hmm. on how best I can reach the Anti-Corruption Commission of Zambia and other institutions that fight against corruption. And of course, uh, being trained on how I can um, disseminate the information that I'm getting right from the workshop. Mm -hmm. Because I believe when we are involved in fighting against corruption, we are of course going to kickstart a virtuous cycle of development. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right, thank you. Uh, Mr. Mumba, I know that you, you spark conversations about these things quite often. If you yeah. follow him on uh, his socials, you do get to see these things. And I just wanted to understand what, what drives your passion for uh, spreading this message? Because as she said, she wanted to disseminate information. But I know that you are also involved in this. So what drives the, the need to make sure that we fix this? Because, I mean, you're a, you're a gentleman who sorted himself out you're you know financially set you don't really need to stress yourself about what's going on in the country yeah sort of but i, I mm -hmm. love zambia mm -hmm. uh, i really love this country and this is why i keep coming back if, even if it costs me money to come back mm -hmm. and be a part of such conversations i'll keep coming back because i am zambian mm -hmm. you know and um it's interesting that you say i'm i'm sorted i'm i'm, yeah. I'm pretty i'm pretty good but that's also what breaks my heart mm -hmm. because i went and i made it in a country that's not mine a country that gave me opportunities on merit mm -hmm. when it was so hard for me to do that in my own country and i know that's a challenge a lot of zambians are still facing we've got so many youngsters with brilliant ideas that need to be heard they need to be listened to they need to be given a shot but they are not being given those opportunities. Um, just a few years ago, up until maybe two years ago, before we voted the other guys out, we saw how there were so many amazing entrepreneurs, young people with great ideas that could change our, our, our country lives, create jobs. But where was the money going? Into Carter's hands, who didn't have an idea what to do with it. So I'll keep fighting to make sure that we shift how we do things, can we start giving our young people opportunities on merit? If you have a great idea, let me give you a shot and see what you can do with mm -hmm. it. And I've, I've done that on my, on my own, in my own capacity, try and help, but I, I can only do so much as an individual. But if I rally behind my country and we put our resources together, I just know we can do so much more. This is why I keep fighting for that. I just know we all deserve better. You know, some of the problems we have in our society with the young people is just out of frustration. Mm. You know, the alcoholism, the drug abuse, and obviously it's not an excuse. But if you give these people an alternative, when people are making money and they're, they're happy with what they're doing and there's so much interaction in, in, in the business world and, and people feel hopeful, it just becomes so much easier to stop with the alcohol and the drugs and all these other things that are distracting young people. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm a part of the conversation. Okay. And I'll pose this question to the both of you just as we wrap up. How would you describe the fight against corruption amongst the youth right now, prior to the conference, which is still taking place, but before you actually felt the need to start the conference, right? How would you describe the fight against corruption amongst youth? Um, I would say... For me, it's encouraging because so many of the youth that I interact with or mm -hmm. the conversations I see online, mm -hmm. you can see that the youth are not happy because they've come to understand how corruption has really robbed them of opportunities, you know. And there are a few that seem to be quiet about it, but then it's also very easy to tell why, because they've been beneficiaries of that corruption. You see that they've been involved in it themselves or their parents, Oh, but we are at that point where I don't care. If you're my best friend and I know your father is stealing, I'll call him out. <laughs> that's, mm -hmm. that's where we are right now. And that's mm -hmm. what we want to encourage among us the youth. And we can see that's the spirit that's yeah. being shared right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Jane? So, um, talking about yesterday's session, it was very much interesting on, on how the youths were posing questions to mm -hmm. institutions that fight corruption. You can tell that really they want to fight corruption. They want to be heard. They want to be involved in the fight against corruption through the questions that were, they were posing. And of course, we had um, a panel discussion where we had Miss Laura Meeting, mm -hmm. who was talking on um, 
mindsets shifting responsibility and dependency objectives well she said that the problem that we have with our people in zambia and mostly the youths mm -hmm. is that um they do not worry about corruption money simply because they feel that is government money mm -hmm. they say nindalama zaboma not realizing that that money actually belongs to them yeah. that money is theirs that money is generated from tax revenue it is generated from the minerals of zambia from the tourism sector etc etc so i think um we need more of these events so that we can actually educate people on corruption and them really knowing that Corruption affects them in a way that is really great mm -hmm. because they are robbed of opportunities. We have, we as youths tend to drug abuse and other illicit activities like crimes simply because we do not have more recreation facilities. Why? Because of corruption in Zambia. Mm -hmm. So I believe youths really wants to take part in the fight against corruption. All right, fantastic. I have to thank both of you coming through uh, on the Diamond Breakfast this morning. So that is Trevor Mumba, the founder and managing director of Rovert Marketing, and Jane Chisenga, who is the president of the Debate Society. Thank you very much for coming through on the Diamond Breakfast. Thank, thank you, so, you much. so much. It is now time for us to take a very quick break. Justin and I will be back with more on the Diamond Breakfast. Stay tuned. a good dream. It's a dream that Lucky Buy mobile application has simplified and defined through a simple spend of one contract. It's easy.